Hello friends, my name is Pratim Dutta and I am from Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology and today I am going to show you a simple operation of a DC motor, how we can control a DC motor using a push button. Uh, so in this simple pro this experiment I say that we are using a one IC named L239D motor driver IC. So this motor driver IC is used to control the operation of a two, mo two DC motors simultaneously. So I am going to show you the components I am using over here and so let's begin. So this is the DC supply. I am using a 5 volt supply from here to power up the IC. So these are some of the jumper wires. This is the battery. This is a 9 volt battery I am using. This is the BO motor. And this is a 300 rpm 12 volt uh, DC motor. So and one breadboard and L, this one is the L293D motor driver IC. This, this IC is very useful as a whole I can say that because it can control a two motor at the same time simultaneously and one push button. So the main objective of this experiment is to control the motor using this push button. The when I press this push button, the motor will start to rotate. That is our main motive over here. Okay, let's begin. So I take the negative terminal from the DC supply. The negative terminal from the DC supply. I will put one side of this breadboard and another on the other side of the breadboard. Okay, it's done. Now let's give you the brief what is the pin configuration of this l293 motor driver ic pin number as you can see when you buy an ic there is a small dot a small dot on the top that dot is the the side of it is the pin number one then pin number two pin number three pin number four pin number five pin number six seven eight and this side is pin number nine ten and total 16 pin like this total 16 pin number are there Okay, let's begin with and today I'm going to show you the only one side of the uh, pin that is up to pin number 8. That is, the two, there are total 16 pin. The first half, the, the, these legs, this, the first 8 legs is to control the one motor and another, these 8 legs is to control the another motor. Okay, now today I will show you just the operation of these 8 legs. And the next video, I will going to show you the operation of both the total 16 pins and how to control a two motor with this. Okay, let's go with the pin number one. What is the pin number one? It is enable. It's enable the uh, uh, enable this leg. Pin number two is the input. Pin number two and pin number seven is the input. Pin number two and pin number seven is the input. Means if we give a zero to this, means pin number two then it will rotate the motor will rotate a uh, pin number uh, sorry i'm extremely sorry if we give a zero to this and one to uh, pin number seven then it will rotate in a clockwise direction and if you uh, vice versa this if you opposite this then it will rotate in a clockwise direction so it's very simple pin number two and pin number seven is the input pin number three and pin number six is the output Output means the two terminal of the DC motor will connect to pin number 3 and pin number 6. And pin number 4 and pin number 5 will go to the ground. And one more important thing over in this IC is that pin number 16 should also give a 5 volt supply. That is the VCC. Pin number 16 at the top of it. That is the VCC. So let's begin. And this is the push button. The push button operation is extremely simple. It's very simple. I will show you now. Let's begin with it. The two supply I have given from the DC supply, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Now, give the the first terminal, that is the pin number 1 and pin number 16, should give a 5 volt supply. You should remember that. And the 5 volt supply, I have shorted it. And I will give it from this terminal, which I have connected over here. So, let's see what I have done. The positive terminal is going to one side of the breadboard. The negative terminal has gone to another side of the breadboard. Now pin number 1 and pin number 16. We have to give 5 volt. So I have shorted it and passes through another uh, jumper wire and connected to the positive of the 5 volt. Say this. Connected. Done. Next our operation is pin number. I will do with the ground now. Pin number 4 and pin number 5 is ground. Now count 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4. 
and this is 5 okay I have shorted it and I will send it to the ground take another wire from any of any one of this terminal and short it to the negative of this this is supply done now let's go with the another pin that is pin number okay pin number three and pin number six this this DC motor has two terminals this DC motor has a two terminals so I will connect one terminal to pin number three and another terminal to pin number six done now the supply I will give positive supply to here the 5 volt supply and I'm gonna give another the leg of another push button to any one of this pin pin number 2 or pin number 7 and let's give to pin number 7 and pin number 8 the important function of this IC is the pin number 8 see for the operation for any microprocessor code to control the motor it needs a very less voltage but for the operation of a DC motor it requires a high voltage high means maximum of 12 13 volts and this is a 12 volt battery so we can give an external supply to this IC to operate the motor so we can we are giving an external supply the positive terminal the pin number 8 the pin number 8 can take up to a 14 volt external supply so to run the motor this is the main advantage of using a L2390 motor driver IC I am giving a positive over 8 number 8 through this and another pin to the ground okay and it's done I think so the connection is almost done so I am giving a 9 volt external supply to this motor driver IC to operate this DC motor so I think so the connection is almost done yes it's almost done now let's play with it See, the motor has started to rotate. When I push this button, it will start to rotate. Okay, now to reverse the direction, you just put pin number 7, pull the pin, uh, pin number 7 and put it to pin number 2. It will rotate in a opposite direction. This is a simple experiment. That is, it will start to rotate in a reverse direction. Okay. Now let's brief up and give you a, as a whole summary what I have done here. So I am controlling here the uh, controlling the operation of a motor, the rotation or consider rotation using a push button. Controlling the using L two nine three nine L two nine three D motor driver IC. So. The pin configuration is very easy. Pin number one should be given. Pin number one and sixteen should be given a five volt supply, and pin uh, pin number two and pin number seven is the input. That are the two inputs of this IC, and output that is three and six are the output that will go to uh, this. Three and six will go to the DC motor. Will connect to the three and six. Four and five will go to the ground, and the ground from here to the negative terminal of the DC supply. Pin number eight is the external supply. I am giving here nine volt external supply to it. So it's almost done I think so yes that's much. Thank you. Stay tuned and more videos are yet to come and please like subscribe and thank you.